As President Obama has said, our country's Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights are not simply words written into aging parchment. They are the foundation of liberty and justice in our country, and a light that shines to all who seek freedom, fairness, equality, and dignity in the world. We take our place in the UPR process with pride in our accomplishments, honesty in facing continuing challenges, and a commitment to using the international system to elevate and advance the protection of human rights at home and abroad. As you know, the United States continues to maintain the death penalty as a form of punishment for the most serious crimes. Some states have imposed moratoria. Other states do not apply the penalty at all. Many Americans who are personally opposed to the death penalty, including myself, nevertheless recognize that international human rights law does not bar its use per se. A number have expressed concern about the legality of our uses of force in Afghanistan and elsewhere. With respect to use of force and targeting like detentions, the United States is committed to ensuring that all of our actions fully comply with the rule of law. It is a considered view of this administration that U.S. targeting practices, including lethal operations conducted with the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, comply with all applicable law, including international humanitarian law. No one polices its own military forces more rigorously than the United States. The Defense Department has well-established procedures for reporting detainee abuse and investigates all credible allegations of abuse by U.S. forces. Let there be no doubt, the United States does not torture and it will not torture. Uno, poner fin al bloqueo contra Cuba, que califica como delito de genocidio y viola gravemente los derechos humanos del pueblo cubano, así como libertades fundamentales de ciudadanos estadounidenses y de terceros estados. ران ضمن محکومیت و ابراز نگرانی عمیق از وضعیت حقوق بشر و نقض گسترده و سیستماتیک آن توسط دولت آمریکا در سطح ملی و فراملی از آن دولت می‌خواهد توصیه‌های زیر را که برگرفته از درخواست‌های نهادهای بین‌المللی حقوق بشری است به اجرا گذارد یک قوانین فراملی خود را لغو و از اجرای تدابیر یکجانبه علیه دیگر کشورها اجتناب کند دو